There we are back with another Hero Forge video, and today the, painting my character in my current DD uh, campaign, I play a female paladin and she has red hair. So that's what we're focusing on this quick little video today is painting red hair. Now, a lot of people seem to think I've been talking to lately that you just slap red paint on her hair and she has red hair. But the problem is that is not a natural color for a redhead. Uh, with like the for gingers, how you want to call them. I don't know what the politically correct name would be for is, but um, you want to make a base color brown like we just did. Right now you see me kind of touching up the face because I realized that uh, I need to clean up the face for going any further with the hair. But anyway, but you're going to start with like a base color deep brown for those deep shadows or whatever. And then you want to layer all the way up and you start getting into some oranges and you top it off with some yellows. Here we are trying to layer up to our optimal color for red hair. Kind of went a little too bright, but it didn't create a lot of rework, but basically you're just gonna focus on layering up to those brighter colors. I decided to add a clip where you, what happens and what it looks like when you don't layer correctly and you go too bright. And I didn't get my mistress good enough correctly. And so it was not blending in well. So I had to create a lot of rework for myself. So just make sure again, you're layering correctly. Here we are back after my rework and got my hair where I kind of wanted it to be. We're getting towards the end of the hair now. Uh, we're going in a little bit more yellow, yellowish tint and still have orange in it, but a little bit more yellow. And we're hitting those high tops of the hair where the light would hit it. And it just kind of flickered down into the hair and get it more in line with the colors that we want. Continue the process of the yellow highlights, but when you get towards the end, you don't want it as bright. You want to kind of like trickle off towards the end of the hair just to get that nice blend in with. I'm just going now hitting the parts that would stand out in the light. Now I'm touching up the face or fits in the face, putting the eyeballs in and it's, it's got to be super delicate. Um, I'm using a very fine tip uh, brush. After the fact, I realized I used the wrong brush. I have a much smaller brush. It'd be extra better for it. Moving on to the shield now. My character in the campaign currently has a full gold shield. Uh, it's a descent in avarice. It has a pit fiend trapped in it. So it has a face on the front. So going back to my brushes, I grabbed the wrong brush. I was trying to do freehand with a longer fine tip brush. Didn't realize uh, like I just bought these brushes. I didn't realize I had a shorter brush that I could use. that I could do some uh, freehand sketching on. And I spent way too long on the shield trying to get a look right. I was going more for like a uh, venom type face. I ended up just doing, ended up with what I ended up with. And I, I guess it's all right. It's not terrible, but yes, you know, what I, what I could come up with. And then I moved on from there, just made the basic, uh, plate metal, ethereal silver. It's a metallic silver for all her plate 
armor. I decided to add a red cloak to her for tapestry and it also shows good like what it would look like if you just threw red on her hair so it's super unnatural. Going back to the sword now I remember that uh, she got a sword that kind of glows blue so she can see in the dark because she's a human paladin and it's just super thin coat just to give that hint of glowing. Here we are, my character, a female paladin. After making this video, I see a lot of mess ups. I went back and touched up. There's like a couple marks on the face and the armor I had to fit, but she looks a lot better now. But the main goal of this video is to show off how you paint a red, red hair. Basically, you don't want to put just straight red on there. You want to use brown and slightly go up in your oranges and yellows and to highlight it out. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace. Standing at the cross between a line.